Welcome in to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Belmont Cardinal basketball. Tonight, the Cardinals at home here at Malcolm Kirkendall Gymnasium, campus of Belmont High School, as they get ready for division play against the Pathers of Amory. Varsity girls and varsity boys action for you. Steve Bates with you this afternoon. Also, Josh Mitchell, good to have Josh with us tonight. He'll be doing the videographer work for us for a TV broadcast. Appreciate Gatlin's Pharmacy if you're spending too much out of your pocket, if you're in a donut hole, if you priced your prescriptions at another store, go by and see them, see if they save you some money on your prescriptions at Gatlin's Pharmacy. It is a Health Mart Pharmacy located in downtown Tishomingo. You can call them at 662-438-6605, the number for you at Gatlin's Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo. Also, Tri-State Insurance, your agents are Kim Wells, Kalem Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Belmont and Red Bay. Whether it's insuring your vehicle, home, motorcycle, four-wheeler, boat, RV, farm, or business, they can take care of you. They're licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee at Tri-State Insurance. Belmont, call them at 454-3304. In Red Bay, you can call them at 356-4804 at Tri-State Insurance. Allen Harden Heating and Cooling. They've been in business 45 years. You factor authorized York Heating and Cooling dealer for three generations. Call Allen Harden Heating and Cooling, 256-356-8913. Also, D&D &D Equipment, D&D &D Rentals of Iuka. They rent small construction equipment, a wide variety of hand tools. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Located at 493 County Road 169 in Iuka. You can call them at 662-423-8283. Daniel Sparks, proud to be your state senator in District 5. Thanks for the confidence you have shown in him. Go Cardinals from Daniel Sparks, a proud sponsor of our local teams. Red Mud Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, residential and commercial installation service and repairs. Free estimates on new installation. They're state certified, licensed, bunted, and insured. Call Red Mud Heating and Cooling, 662-279-6569. Your Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. I'll remind you, they still offer rebates on those hot water heaters from gas to electric and electric to electric. They are focused on providing efficient, reliable service to our Tishomingo County Electric Power Association members. Good luck to all the Tishomingo County teams from your TCEPA. Redbud Supply, Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne bringing you tonight's game. Also, Mac Wildman, your Tishomingo County Corner. Community Spirit Bank of Belmont, Mike Montgomery and the staff for all your banking needs. Call Community Spirit Bank in Belmont at 454-0001. Deaton Funeral Homes of Belmont and Red Bay serving the area since 1945. Now in their fourth generation of service. Also, Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk, open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Their desire is to serve you. Thank you for your support, Peyton Cummings. Also, Wildflowers, unique gifts in Belmont. Missing Dustin Brandon, 305 2nd Street. If you're planning a wedding in the future, go by and see them. they make your wedding dreams come true at any budget. You can also send one a little pick-me-up flyer arrangement from Wildflowers. Call them at 454-1033. You can also check them out on Facebook as well. Belmont Pharmacy. Pharmacist Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum. They are your Tiffin's preferred provider. Call them at 454-9902. Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro bring you tonight's game. Stay tuned, we've got our starting lineups coming up and our national anthem here from Belmont High School.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Malcolm Kirkendall Gymnasium at Belmont High School campus, the home of the Belmont Cardinals. The teams, coaches, administration, and fans would like to welcome each of you. Tonight's contest will be between the Ambry Panthers and Lady Panthers and the Belmont Cardinals and Lady Cardinals. We want to remind you that this is an MHSAA sanctioned contest. Therefore, we encourage you to represent your school in a respectful fashion. Profanity, abusive behavior, artificial noise makers, and the like will not be tolerated. The use of alcohol, drugs, or tobacco are forbidden at all Mississippi high school activities. Also, we welcome our officials for tonight's contest who are also members of MS MHSAA. In the case of an emergency, the exits are located at each end of the gymnasium. Now please stand for the playing of our national anthem and the introduction of the teams to follow. At this time, we'd like to announce the starting lineups for tonight's first contest. This is a ladies' action that will feature the Amory Lady Panthers against the Belmont Lady Cardinals. First, the starting lineup for the Amory Lady Panthers, coached by Brian Pearson. Number 11, Jatavia Smith. Number 12, Emma Kate Wright. Number 23, Amaya Trimble. Number 24, Jalea Small. And number 32, Amaya Park. That is your starting lineup tonight for the Belmont Lady Cardinals and the Amory Lady Panthers. Med Express of Red Bay, nurse practitioner Wendy Orn, the staff, bring you tonight's game. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, to take care of all your medical needs. Med Express of Red Bay is a certified rural health clinic, licensed with the Alabama Department of Public Health. Appointments are preferred. Walk-ins are welcome. They accept all major insurances for you at Med Express Red Bay. Call them at 356 8907. So it'll be Abby Kirkendall, Macy Walker, Mary Grace Stormit, Cassie Grimes, and Lydia Lyles are starting five for the Lady Cardinals. Jatavia Smith, Emma Kate Wright, Amaya Trimble, Jahelia Small, and Mia Parks are starting five for the Amory Lady Panthers. Fischel ready to go, steps in, and the ball in the air. Lady Cardinals will control the tip. 
Abby Kirkendall across the timeline as they set it up at the top of the key. Kirkendall hands it off the right side to Walker. Walker drives to the right corner, goes inside, wide open, and it's good under there by Cassie Grimes. The Lady Cardinals lead it two to nothing. Amory now with the basketball. Trimble goes right side to the wing to number 12. That's right, back to the top to Trimble. Trimble looking inside, nothing there. Goes to the left wing to Parks. Now back to the top to Trimble. Trimble looking over that Cardinal defense. Goes to the right wing again to right. Now back to Trimble. Over to number 11, Smith. They'll push it to the left corner to Parks. Parks brings it to the wing. Back to the top of the key now to number 12. That's right. Right goes to the right wing to Parks. Parks looking inside. Lady Cardinals, nothing there. Lady Cardinals lead it two to nothing. Seven minutes to go here in the opening period. Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff bring you the night's game. Number 11 drives it on there, Jatavia Smith, and ties the ball game up. Kirkendall now with the basketball. A little press put on here by Amory Belmont. Carries the basketball. The pressure by the Amory Lady Panthers pays off as the Lady Cardinals turn it over, so Amory will throw it in at side court now. Maya Trimble, top of the key now, works it to the wing on the right side. Now back to the top to right, right drives, dishes it off. Smith with a three from the left wing. And Amory leads it five to two. Lady Cardinals bringing it down the four. Storm it, puts the shot up. We've got a collision. It'll be a blocking foul going against Amory. So Mary Grace Storm it will go to the free throw line for the Belmont Lady Cardinals. They charge that foul to Jahelia Small. That's her first team's first of the half. Free throw, but Storm it up and good. Next one by Mary Grace Storm at no good. Rebound goes to Amory. Milligan Ready Mix for your mulch, landscaping, rock, curb stops, pet monuments. 025 North and I. You can call them at 423-6238. Right, working it on the right wing. She'll go to the corner with it. Backs it back out. Amory leading it five to three. Parks drives it in, loses it. Lady Cardinals had it. Now they come back out of there with it. Mary Grace Stormont walks with the basketball. Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance agent, now writing insurance in Mississippi from his Red Bay office on Main Street. Call Ronald at 356-4459 for your home, auto, personal, whatever your need may be. Call Ronald Thorne, your State Farm Insurance agent, 256-356-4459. So Amory with a 5-3 lead and the basketball. Number five, Amelia Robinson into the ball game. She's got the ball, she'll lob it inside. They go up with it, count the basket, and Belmont commits the foul. Jahelia Small with that basket for Amory. That gives Amory a 7-3 lead, and they'll have a free throw coming. And the free throw on the way. It is no good. Lady Cardinals with the rebound. Walker passes it down to Lyles. Lyles to Storm it right wing. Storm it back to Kirkendall. She sets up, takes the three, no good. Belmont got the rebound. Walker pulled the rebound down for the Lady Cardinals. Goes to Kirkendall. Kirkendall up with it. Good. Abby Kirkendall. It's a 7-5 lead for Amory here in the first period. 4.45 to go. Smith. To right, right goes back over to Robinson on the right wing, and a good job by the Lady Cardinals, Cassie Grimes, picking that pass off now on the other end. 
Grimes to the basket, no good. A rebound, Amory. Here comes the Lady Panthers quickly back down the floor. Robinson, pull up from the left side, won't go. Amory got the rebound, they'll kick it over to number 11, Smith. Now, going inside to Small. Small's gonna be fouled from behind. Either gonna be Macy Walker or Cassie Grimes. We'll see which one they put up on the board. Second foul of the half against Belmont. The second foul of the ball game charged to Cassie Grimes. Helia Small with a free throw, no good. She's now 0 out of 2 from the line. Grimes will check out of the ball game for Belmont. Kalia Koger checking in for the Lady Cardinals. Next one to Small all the way. This one good. So an 8 5 lead for Amory. They'll check Jahelia Small out of the ball game for the Lady Panthers. Erkendall across the timeline. Comes to Lyles on the right wing. Lyles goes to the corner with it to storm it. Back to Lyles. Back to the top. Walker. Back to Lyles. Lyles looking inside. They got Coger double team. Storm it back to the top. Now they'll go to Lyles. Lyles kicks it back out. Mary Gray storm it with a three. Good. And we're tied at eight. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative, making her game possible here this evening. So Amory now with the basketball, number 23, that's Tremble, drives to the basket, missed it under there. Walker got the rebound. Macy bringing it down the floor, pass down to Stormit. Stormit makes the move to the belt, left baseline. We've got a collision under there, and they're going to get a charge on Belmont. Mary Gray Stormit's first foul of the ball game, third of the half against the Lady Cardinals. Triple D's bucket service, Barney Brandon Dusta Dick, try the best to meet all your high reach needs. Whether it's trimming a tree, debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning the steeples, all done in professional manner. Triple D's, call them at 662-279-7500. It's licensed, bonded, and insured. There's a shot from the right corner by Amory, no good. Small got the rebound. She's double team, loses it. Lady Cardinals come out of there with it. Macy Walker. Walker all the way, coast to coast. It's good. And the Lady Cardinals take a 10 to 8 lead now. Right, the top of the key. Right drives in, kicks it out to number 23, Tremble on the left wing. Tremble. Now back to the top to Small. Small goes over to right. Right from the top of the key. Takes a long three. No good. This one's going to go out of bounds. It'll go to the Belmont Lady Cardinals. Amory fortunate on that one not to get over the back foul. So Lydia Lyles will inbound for Belmont now. Your hometown pizza in Belmont. Open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. at 7 Yarber Street. Great salad bar. Use the convenient drive through and dine in or carry out. Call Hometown Pizza at 454-0202. Walker back to Storm at right wing. She'll bring it to the top of the key for the Lady Cardinals. Belmont with a 10-8 lead with a minute 55 left here in the opening period. Kirkendall in the lane, kicks it now to Walker. Walker drives in the lane, puts it up, no good, and she's fouled. So Macy Walker with two points in the game will go to the free throw line for the first time tonight for the Lady Cardinals. Free throw by Macy up and good. Next one on the way, this one good as well. So Belmont now with a 12-8 lead. Smith with the basketball. Kicks it to the top to Small. Small hands it to number 23, that's Tremble. She'll drive it in there, put it up. And she walked, took too many steps in the lane, and a turnover for the Amory Lady Panthers. 
Red Bay Hospital taking care of her friends and neighbors close to home. Administrator Vice President Sherry Jolly, call them at 356-9532. 24-hour emergency department staff for board certified physicians at the Red Bay Hospital. Walker, a little spin move in the lane. Count the basket and a foul on Amory. Six points in the ball game for Macy Walker. She's two out of two from the line. Free throw good. Amory came out and took a lead, but the Lady Cardinals have battled back here in the latter part of the first period and now lead it 15 to eight with a minute 20 to go. Right at the top of the key. Gonna hand the ball to number five. That's Robinson, goes to the right wing. And Walker almost got it for the Lady Cardinal. Trimble now comes back to right. Now they'll get it to 32. That's Parks now. Number 11. That's Smith drives in there and puts it up. Tavia Smith. Her seventh point of the ball game. Belmont 15, Amory 10. Driving it right down the lane. Lydia Lyles missed it. It'll go out of bounds. They'll say Amory, the last one to touch the basketball. So Macy Walker will throw it in now for Belmont. Gets it in to storm it. Top of the key. She'll drive it right down the lane. It is good. And a foul on Amory. Six point of the ball game for Mary Grace Stormont. Mary Grace one out of two from the line. She'll have a free throw coming. Second foul of the ball game for Amory's Amaya Robinson. Free throw of a storm it up. It's good. <laughs> Lady Cardinals with an 18-10 lead. 30 seconds left here in the opening period. Right. On the right wing, drives to the corner. Now she'll bring it back out, come to the top to Trimble. Trimble now, they'll work it to the left corner to Smith. They'll try to go inside. They tried to hit Small, threw it away. Here comes Belmont now. Walker driving it to the basket. Puts it up, no good. Walker got the rebound. we got a whistle and a foul and under the basket against Belmont. That will be the fourth foul of the half against the Lady Cardinals. First foul of the ball game for Kalia Coger. And the shot on the way, no good at the buzzer. And at the end of one, it's the Belmont Lady Cardinals 18 and the Amory Lady Panthers 10. H&R Block, Iuka, Red Bay, and Fulton, your tax professionals, also Sunshine Mills. Makers of that great cat, dog food, and treats on a broadcast. Grace Long Real Estate of Iuka. Let us help you sell your home at Grace Long Real Estate. You can call them at 423-5555. Piggly Wiggly of Belmont, Iuka, and Red Bay. Down home, down the street, inside Piggly Wiggly, Belmont, you'll find the Belmont Ace Hardware. Sid's Trading Company. Making our game possible tonight. They got your Bush Hog Zero Turn Moors. They are dependable and solid. They're offered in a state, commercial, and professional series. Whether you're a lawn care professional who requires productivity and dependability in your machine, or if you're just a homeowner who wants professional results in the fraction of the time, go out to SIDS. I went 25 South and Iuka and check those Bush Hogs out. You can call them at 424-0025, SIDS Trading Company. Wright will throw it in to Trimble, and the second period underway. Goes over to Smith from the right wing. Now they'll come back to Parks at the top of the key. Parks will give it back to Trimble. Trimble working it right side to right. Wright drives to the right corner. Now she'll bring it back out to Parks, top of the key. Parks drives it in the lane. She pushed off, no call, and the shot missed under there. Amory gets the rebound back up. Count the basket for Jemiah Small, and Belmont commits the foul under there.
fifth foul of the half against Belmont. It's going to be the second foul of the ball game for Kalia Koger. Smalls free throw on the way. This one is good. Amory, with a little pressure on the Lady Cardinals, they turn it over. Now Amory's going to throw it out of bounds and give it right back to Belmont. Olivia Lyles will throw it in. Gets it in to Mary Grace Stormit. Stormit to Kirkendall across the timeline. Fies Walker wide open. She'll lay it up and in. Belmont leading it 20 to 13 now. Right with the basketball for Amory, top of the key. Looking left side, comes to number 11, that's Smith. Now back to the top. They'll work it back over to right at the top of the key. Now to Parks. Parks back to right, over to Trimble on the right wing. Now they'll go inside to Small. Small couldn't come up with the basketball. Here comes Belmont, Lydia Lyles now with it. Lady Cardinals will set it up with a seven point lead here in the second period, 6.40 to go. Kirkendall right down the lane. Now tried to get it to Coger, they'll tie it up. Possession error will stay with Belmont. Nice game brought to you by Ronnie Cook and Mont Woodman of America to plan for your financial future and learn about member benefits. Get to know your modern Woodman representative. You can give Ronnie Cook a call at 662-423-8477. Storm it on the inbound, goes over to Walker on the left wing. Walker, a little move to the basket. And now we got a whistle before the shot against Amory. That's going to be the fifth foul of the half against Amory. First foul of the ball game for Amaya Trimble. Lyles looking to get it in, finds Storma. Nope. We got a foul on the inbound before the shot. So Belmont's going to throw it back in. Second foul of the ball game for Smith of Amory. On the inbound. Amory came up with it on the other end now. Number 11 at Smith. Shot no good. Rebound by Walker. Walker. Now to Kirkendall. Kirkendall across the timeline. Gets it to Lyles. Lyles now to Stormit. Stormit drives it in the lane. Goes up with it. It is no good. Amory gets the rebound. Here comes Parks with the ball. Parks in the lane, goes up with it. It is good. Kamal Parks took it coast to coast for the layup for Amory. It's now Belmont 20, Amory 15 with 5.40 to go here in the second period. Stormit with the ball. Stormit to Lyles. Lyles in the paint, dishes it off to Coger. Right baseline, shot no good. Amory will get the rebound as Amaya Parks came out of there with it. She'll bring it down the floor. She'll give it to Trimble now. So Trimble at the top of the key. She'll go right side. Now to the corner to right. For double zero as in the ball game. That's going to be Howe. Now they'll lob it inside. I'm going to have a walk on Jemaya Small. So a turnover by Amory. Trimble and Smith's going to check out the ball game for Amory now. Number 14, that's Burdine into the ball game. Going to the basket, dishes it out. Here's the shot on the way from the left wing. Won't go for Storm it. Small got the rebound. And here comes Amory, right with the basketball. At the top of the key. That howl over there. Now here's a long three. He's going to be no good by right out of bounds. And it'll go over to Belmont. Big star Belmont says, good luck, Cardinals. Great customer service. Sammy Hound, the staff, they appreciate your business at Big Star Belmont. They're open seven days a week for you. 
Six fouls, the half against Amory. Five for Belmont, 4.15 to go here in the second period. Storm it with the ball left wing. Looking inside, they'll come to the free throw line to Coger. She'll hand it to Walker, top of the key, sets up, takes the three. It's no good. It'll go out of bounds, and it'll go to the Amory Lady Panthers. Parks with the basketball on the right wing for Amory. Now they'll come back to the top to Howell. Howell comes over to right, right. Comes back up to Burdine. Now they'll get Parks in there, a little spin move in the lane, blocked, and Small goes back up with it on get the basket for Amory. And Coach Chris Hickenbottom of the Belmont Lady Cardinals call a timeout. So with 3.34 to go before half, it's Belmont 20, Amory 17. Spark CPA firm, six locations to serve you. Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. Free electronic filing of all income tax returns, individual and business, tax preparation, monthly bookkeeping, payroll and sales tax services for you at the Sparks CPA firm. Williams Pest Control and Insulation, Jeff Green for all your pest control and insulation needs, serving North Alabama, North Mississippi. You can call Jeff Green at 662-454-3383. Also, Auto Overdrive Auto Sports, owner Gavin Cromain, specializing in lift kits, wheels, tires, and accessories. Located at 721 Highway 25 in Dennis, open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. For appointment, call Gavin at 662-660-4505. Kirkendall double team. Now they get it to Walker. Walker drives into the lane, kicks it back out to Stormit. Stormit drives to the basket, puts it up. No good. She's going to be fouled. So it'll be a one and one second foul of the ball game for Amory's Jamiah Small. They're going to say two as Stormit was in the act of shooting. Free throw, but Mary Grace good. But that foul does put Belmont in the bonus. The rest of the 316 here in the half. Next one to Storm it good as well. Mary Grace now four out of five from the free throw line. Small will get it into Trimble. Maya Trimble bring it down the floor. Trimble pull up in the lane, no good. Rebound goes to Lyles. Lydia bringing it down the floor. Lyles drives it to the right corner. Now she'll bring it back out. Get in the lane, just pull up, take the shot, no good. Rebound will go to Emma Wright, and here comes Amory. To Trimble, Trimble, double team, has it stolen away. Good job by Stormont. Stormont goes all the way, puts it up, missed it, and the rebound goes to Amory Smith, and here comes the Lady Panthers. 22-17 lead for Belmont, 2.30 to go before half. It's it into Small, she'll put it up, no good. Rebound goes to Kalia Koger. Kirkendall now across the timeline. Hits it to Lyles, Lyles back to Kirkendall, back to Lyles. Goes to Stormit. Stormit, little move to the basket. It's good. Econo Stores, the only climate control stores in the area. Haskell Sparks, Belmont, and Tishomingo. Call them at 423-8767. Driving in the lane. Trimble puts it up no good. And Abby Kirkendall with a rebound for Belmont. Pass down to Stormit. Stormit up with it. Has it blocked from behind. Kirkendall will run it down right corner. She'll bring it back out to the top to Lyles. Lyles finds. Here goes Stormit laying it up and in. Mary Grace Stormit. And Amory's going to call a timeout with 1.30 to go before half. It's Belmont 26, Amory 17. 13 points in the ball game for Mary Grace Stormit. Nine in the game for Macy Walker. 
Kirkendall with two, Cassie Grimes with two. Josh McNabb wants to thank everyone for the support you gave him in the election. He's your new circuit court clerk for Tishomingo County, wishes all the teams well. So Stone's Jewelry, family owned and operated for 41 years, Ripley and Tupelo, their specialty is making the customer happy. They specialize in engagement rings, jewelry repairs done in the store for you at Stone's Jewelry. Belmont Mayor Buddy Welsher, your alderman are Craig Bell, Mike Harris, Sonia Harris, Brandon Farms, Steve Ratliff. Also the Belmont Restaurant, Wallace and Glenda Williams, local folks serving homemade meals for you at the Belmont Restaurant. Downtown on the square, Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 2, you'll find the buffet. Friday and Saturday nights, 4 to 9, you can order from the menu. Sunday from 11 to 2, they have the Sunday buffet at the Belmont Restaurant. You can call them at 662-479-5022. Right, I'll bring it down the floor now. I'll go to the right wing with it. Now I'll push it over to number five. That's Robinson on the left wing. Back to the top to right. Now go to the right wing. Number 20, Jada Sims in the ball game for Amory. In the lane, we got a whistle and a foul against the Lady Cardinals. Six foul of the half against Belmont. It'd be the second foul of the ball game for Mary Grace Stormont. So Trimble looking to get it in, does so to right on the left wing here. She'll bring it back to the top to Trimble. Trimble now finds Parks at the free throw line, kicks it back out, now over to right. They'll go to number 20, that's Sims, passes it inside, Trimble up with it, missed it, it'll go out of bounds, it'll go to Belmont. Twenty six seventeen lead for Belmont with 44 seconds left here in the second period. Walker on the right wing. Walker drives to the top, hands it to Lyles over to Kirkendall left wing. She makes the move to the basket, puts it up. No good. Parks gets the rebound. Here comes Amory with 30 seconds. In the lane, no good by Parks. She'll run the rebound. And here she comes back again in the lane, and Belmont will commit the foul. Macy Walker with her first foul of the ball game. Parks with four in the game. First trip to the free throw line for Amory. That free throw is up, and it is no good. Kalia Coger will check out of the game. Cassie Grimes coming back in for Belmont. And the free throw up, and this one no good as well. Amory gets the rebound though. Wright with a basketball, Wright. With 10 seconds, Parks now with it, with eight seconds, they'll go to the top. To Sims, Sims now to Trimble, two seconds. Puts up the long shot, no good at the buzzer and at the half in girls action, it's the Belmont Lady Cardinals 26, the Amory Lady Panthers 17. This is Cardinal Basketball on WRMG TV 12 and Television 97. Scoring in the first half for the Belmont Lady Cardinals, Abby Kirkendall with two, Macy Walker with nine, Mary Grace Stormont with 13, Cassie Grimes with two, that's your 26 points on the board for Belmont. Latavia Smith with seven, Helga Small with six, Maya Parks with four for the Amory Lady Panthers. Northeast Mississippi Community College moving forward with technology in the classroom with a health and fitness initiative. Honors College Student Success Center, they have workforce training and commitment to excellence in athletics, four day instructional week featuring online short term and hybrid classes, all at affordable cost at Northeast. Take your next steps, call them toll free at 800 555 2154. You can also visit them on the web at www.nemcc.edu. 
Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent, helping you is what we do best, located in Belmont for your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, and tax deferred annuities. Give Mike Harris a call at 454-9624. Also, the four-story grill and steakhouse for Lauren Brent Column. Good food every day at reasonable prices. Same for your catering needs as well. 356-2226 at the four-story grill and steakhouse in Red Bay. Third period about ready to go from Malcolm Perkendall Gymnasium, Belmont High School. Steve Bates along with Josh Mitchell. Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector, bringing tonight's game. Good luck to all the Tishomingo County teams. So Wright will throw it in for the Amory Lady Panthers. This third period underway into Trimble, Trimble. At the top of the key now, working right side, goes inside to number 11. It's good. Belmont commits the foul to Tavia Smith for her ninth point of the ball game. She'll go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. First foul of the ball game for Belmont's Lydia Lyles. Free throw by Smith on the way. This one is good. Belmont with a six-point lead now. Pass down to Storm, and this one knocked out of bounds over there at the scorer's table. By Amory, Parks knocking it out of bounds for the Lady Panthers. So Lyles now will throw it in. Abby Kirkendall bring it down to the floor, back to Lyles. Lyles across the timeline, gets it to Grimes. Now tried to get it to Kirkendall, threw it away, Trimble. Oh, Carrot and lay it up. It's good, and Belmont commits the foul. Maya Trimble, her first points of the game, and she'll go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Lydia Lyles picking up her first foul of the ball game for Belmont. Trimble's free throw on the way. It's good. A little press put on here by Amory, and Lady Cardinals throw it away. Missed the shot under there, but this is going to be a foul against Abby Kirkendall. And Amory is going to go back to the free throw line. It's going to be in number 11, Jatavia Smith, the line. First foul of the ball game for Abby Kirkendall. First one by Smith on the way. It is good. One more free throw now for Jatavia Smith. On the way, it is up and it is good. She's three out of three from the line for Amory. And Amory has pulled within one of the Belmont Lady Cardinals, 26-25. Grimes back over to Stormont, Stormont. One-on-one, -on -one pull up in the lane, but Mary Grace, no good. Belmont's Kirkendall gets the rebound. Good job by Abby, she'll bring it back and set it up. She'll go right side with it. She's guarded by Trimble. Kirkendall now with it. Gets it to Grimes. Now they'll go inside to Walker. Macy, little spin move, puts it up good. 11th point of the ball game for Macy Walker. Belmont leads it by three now. So Trimble will work it left side. Now back to the top of the key. Comes over to Parks. Parks. Lobs it inside to Small. She knocks it back in out of bounds, though, and it's going to go over to Belmont. Third period action, 6.46 to go. Belmont leading at 28-25. Mary Grace storming across the timeline. Gets it to Grimes. Cassie makes the move to the basket. Goes in the lane to Walker. It's no good, but Amory commits the foul. First foul of the ball game for Amory's Kamaya Parks. Free throw good by Macy Walker. Macy now four out of four from the line. 
Walker's free throw up, it is no good. Lyle's got the rebound. Lydia brings it back out, now to Kirkendall, top of the key. 29-25, Belmont lead. Third period action, 6.25 to go. Lyles to Kirkendall, left wing, Kirkendall. Gets it to Grimes, top of the key, goes right side to Lyles. Lyles lobs it inside to Abby Kirkendall. She falls down, and it's going to go over to Amory. Man oil change, the railroad crossing at Golden. Daniel Mann bringing you tonight's game. Oil changes, tire rotations, the fixed flats, do minor repairs. Call Daniel Mann at 454-3557. Belmont with two fouls the half. Amory with two. Trimble with a three from the top. That went in and out. Walker got the rebound. Macy now. Pass down to Mary Grace Stormit. Stormit all the way. A little collision. And they're going to call the foul against Jahelia Small of Amory. Third foul of the ball game for Jahelia Small. So Mary Grace Stormit, 13 points in the game at the free throw line. She's four out of five from the line. That one no good. They're going to check Small out of the game for Amory. Number five, that's going to be Amalia Robinson into the ball game for the Lady Panthers. Next one up, this one no good. Goes out of bounds over to Amory. David Wayne Crum, he's your Tishomingo County tax assessor, bringing you tonight's game. He thanks you for your support in the election. Wishes all the Tishomingo County teams good luck tonight. 29-25, Lady Cardinals with the lead. And here at 5.38 to go in the third. Smith gives it to Wright, right back to Smith. Gives it to Trimble, Trimble goes right side to Robinson. Robinson back out, Trimble pushes it to right. They'll go to the left corner with it. Pull up shot on the way, it is no good by Jatavia Smith. Here comes Belmont. Walker to Kirkendall, Kirkendall. Finds Grimes, she'll go to the basket with it. It is good, good job by Cassie Grimes just driving it in there to the basket. Belmont up by six, 31-25. And Coach Brian Pearson wants a timeout. So with timeout on the floor, five minutes left here in the third period. It's Belmont 31, Amory 25. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply Safety Apparel, high visibility vest, T-shirts, safety glasses, earplugs, made and sold here in Belmont. Call them toll free at 800-647-8168. Explore Liquidations Giant Auction coming up in Fulton, Mississippi, January the 25th, 706 South Adams Street, across from the Center Funeral Home. You'll find furniture, tools, mattresses, luggage, and household items. Auction will start at 5 p.m. You can view items to be auctioned at 3.30 p.m. Concessions will be available. Get ready for the next auction on January the 25th. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County, making her game possible here this evening. So Amory now with the ball. Gets it over to Wright, Wright. Tried to get it to Trimble. Belmont comes away with it. Abby Kirkendall now with the basketball. Goes over to Walker, sets up. Macy now drives to the basket, puts it up good. Little layup by Walker. She's now got 12 in the game. Amory. Trimble with a basketball, lobs it inside. Grimes got a hand on it, but Amory came back up with it. Right with a three, no good. Now Amory comes away with it, shot under there, no good. A foul on Belmont, and that's going to send a mile Robinson to the line. And the free throw by Robinson up and good. 33-26 Belmont. Charge that foul to Cassie Grimes. That's Cassie's third of the ball game. One more free throw now for Amaya Robinson. 
It's on the way. It is no good. Kirkendall with a basketball. Dishes it over to Mary Grace Storm. It sets up for the three. It is good. That's the second three of the ball game for Mary Grace. Ten point lead for Belmont now. They'll go inside with it. It's the layup good by Robinson. Kirkendall to Lyles, back to Kirkendall. Now they'll get it down to storm it. She'll dish it off to Grimes under there. Good. McCassie. Gatlin's Pharmacy, if you're spending too much out of your pocket, if you're in a donut hole, go by and see Pharmacist Stanley Page, your Health Mart Pharmacy, downtown Tishomingo. And they're going to call a jump after the steal by Stormont. Possession error will stay with Belmont. Tri-State Insurance, Kim Wells, Canem Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Belmont and Red Bay. You can call them in Belmont, 454-3304. They're licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee for all your insurance needs. Tri-State Insurance. Storm it. Well, throw it in now. Gets it into Kirkendall. Kirkendall to Walker. A little spin move by Macy. It's good, and Amory will commit the foul. The 14th point of the ball game for Walker, and she'll go to the free throw line. Lancey Howe with her first foul, fourth of the half against Amory. Free throw by Walker, good. Stormont got a hand on it almost, and now a walk by Jada Sims, and Belmont will get the basketball back. Burdine's going to check into the ball game for Amory as Howell checks out. Abby Kirkendall gets it to Grimes, lobs it inside to Walker. It's up. It is no good. And they're going to get a foul on the rebound against Belmont. That'll go against Walker. Amory now across the timeline. Robinson threw it away right to Walker. Macy will lay it up. It's good. This one goes out of bounds, last touched by Parks of Amory. Both teams with four fouls of the half. Belmont leading at 43-28 with 2.35 left here in the third period. Abby Kirkendall now with the basketball. Gets it to Lyles on the left wing. Lyles drives it in the lane, kicks it back out. Storm it with a three, won't go. Rebound goes to Grimes. Cassie now to Lyles. They'll lob it inside to Walker. Walker goes up with it. No good, out of bounds. It'll stay with Belmont. Walker kicks it back out. Kirkendall passes it inside to Storm it. They're going to get Amory's Camilla Parks with that foul. That's going to be her second of the ball game. Amory's fifth of the half. And we have got a timeout on the floor by Belmont. Coach Chris Hickenbottom calls the timeout with 2.03 left here in the third period. It is Belmont 43 and Amory, 28. 
Allen Harden Heating and Cooling. They've been in business 45 years. Your factory authorized New York Heating and Cooling did it for three generations. Call them at 356-8913. So Mac Wyman, your Tishomingo County Corner. Red Bud Supply, Mark Chumley, Scotty Payne. Also your Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. Don't forget, they're a member of TVA's e-program. TVA can come in and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, call them during normal business hours at 423-3646. Lady Cardinals with a 15-point lead. And they'll inbound the basketball. Lyles looking to get it in. They'll get it in to storm it. Comes over to Lyles. Lyles goes to the corner to Grimes. Grimes gets it to Walker. Walker, a little spin move in there. Missed it. Goes out of bounds. It'll go to Amory. Burdine gets it. Now here comes Amory Parks with it. Goes up with it in the lane. Good by Parks. Her sixth point of the ball game. Lyles bringing it down the floor. Gets it to Stormit. Stormit gets it to Walker. Walker finds Grimes. Grimes up with it. Good. Good execution by the Lady Cardinals. That's Grimes' eighth point of the ball game. Minute 15 left now. Trimble working it right side against Kirkendall. Now it gets it to Parks. Parks goes to the corner. Here's the shot on the way. No good by Burdine. And Belmont gets the rebound. Here comes Abby Kirkendall. Pass down to Stormit. Stormit drives, dishes it off. It's a no good under there by Grimes. And Amory. Ball went out of bounds, last touch by Stormit, Fischl says, so Amory will throw it in. Cox will check out of the ball game for the Lady Panthers. Trimble across the timeline, gets it to Parks. Parks comes back. Now they'll come over to number 14, Burdine, back to Sims. Sims over to Trimble. She'll take the three from the right wing. Good. Her sixth point of the ball game. Lyles with the basketball. Gets it down to Stormit. Stormit drives, dishes it to Grimes. This one knocked out of bounds by Parks. It'll stay with the Lady Cardinals. Jemiah so Small will check out of the game. Trimble will check out for Amory. Storm it on the inbound. A three good from the top of the key. That's her third three of the game. Belmont now leads it 48-33 with four seconds. Parks goes up with it, no good, and that's going to be all of the third period. At the end of three, your Belmont Lady Cardinals 48, the Amory Lady Panthers 33. Red Mud Heating and Cooling. Patrick Brooks, residential and commercial installation service and repairs. Give Patrick Brooks a call at 662-279-6569 at Redmond Heating and Cooling. Daniel Sparks, proud to be your state senator in District 5. Thanks for the confidence you've shown in him. Go Cardinals from Daniel Sparks, a proud sponsor of local teams. D&D &D Equipment. Don't forget D&D Rentals of Iuka that rents small construction equipment and a wide variety of hand tools at D&D. 
They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at 493 County Road 169 in Iuka. Call them at 662-423-8283 at D&D. Final eight minutes of this varsity girls action about ready to go. Steve Bates along with Josh Mitchell will have varsity boys following this game. Emma Kate Wright will throw it in now for Amory. Gets it in to Trimble. Trimble double team. Now that'll go off Abby Kirkendall out of bounds. Right into Trimble now. Working across the timeline, gets it back to right. Right goes inside to Small. Small, they're going to call the jump. Good job under there by Cassie Grimes. And Belmont will get the basketball. Stormont with the ball across the timeline. Grimes in, gets it to Grimes. Left baseline, McCassie good. That's her 10th point of the ball game for the Lady Cardinals, and they lead it 50-33 now. Small gets it to Wright. Wright goes. Now they'll go back to Small, and Lydia Lyles will commit the foul for Belmont. Second foul of the ball game for Lydia Lyles. Both teams now with five fouls in the half. Small, two out of four from the line, missed that one. Helia Small with one more free throw. It is on the way. This one is good. Now 50 to 34. Kirkendall. Lyles down to Grimes. Back to Lyles. Back to Grimes. Going in the lane to Walker. It's good. 18th point of the ball game unofficially for Macy Walker. Amory gets it to Small. Small over to Parks, working it left side against Walker. Drives it in the lane, pull up shot. It is good. Got the roll in for Parks. Her eighth point of the ball game for the Lady Panthers. Kirkendall down to Stormit, right wing. Stormit lobs it to Walker. Now Grimes is wide open on the back side for the 12th point of the ball game for Cassie. Community Spirit Bank in Belmont. Mike Montgomery, the staff for all your banking needs on our broadcast. Also, the Deaton Funeral Homes of Belmont and Red Bay, serving the area since 1945, your Deaton Funeral Homes. Going to have a foul on Belmont. Macy Walker picking up her third foul of the ball game. One more foul by Belmont. That's going to put Amory in the bonus. Driving in the lane, Trimble couldn't get the roll in. Kirkendall with a rebound. Lyles now with the basketball. Lyles down to Stormit. Stormit dishes it off. And the layup good by Cassie Grimes. And the Lady Cardinals are up by 20 now. 56-36 with 5.53 to go in the ball game. Small kicks it back to Trimble. She sets up and takes the three. It'll go out of bounds, and it'll go over to Belmont. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk, open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Our desire is to serve you. Thank you for your support. Also, Wildflowers, unique gifts in Belmont. Missing Dustin Brandon, don't forget now, at Wildflowers. They have one-of-a-kind jewelry, silk, and live flowers, and unique gifts for all occasions. 454-1033, the number for you. 305 Second Street in Belmont. Ball loose, Amory steals it away. And the layup on the other end, no good by Robinson. Belmont had the rebound, lost it. Now we've got a whistle and a foul on the Lady Cardinals.
Lady Lyles with her third foul of the ball game. My Robinson's free throw is no good. Robinson now one out of three from the line. They're going to check number 11, Smith, out of the ball game for Amory, number 20. That's going to be Jada Sims will check back in. Robinson's free throw is good. She's now two out of four from the line. 56-37, Belmont. Walker with the basketball. Goes over to Storm it. Amory knocked the ball back in, and the layup on the other end is good by Burdine. Walker bringing it down the floor, goes all the way with it, puts it up. We got a whistle and a foul, number five. That's a Maya Robinson. Six foul of the half against Amory. That's going to be Robinson's third of the ball game. Macy Walker with 18 points in the ball game at the line to shoot two for Belmont. Free throw is no good. Trimble coming back into the ball game for Amory. Also Small coming back in. Next one by Walker, no good as well. Trimble carries it all the way. Baseline for the right side, no good. Small got the rebound and put it back up. And we have got a timeout on the floor. As your Lady Cardinals lead at 56-41 with 4.46 to go in girls' action. We'll have varsity boys following this one. Belmont Pharmacy, pharmacist Bill Dollar Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum, your Tiffin's preferred provider, bringing you tonight's game. Don't forget to have your digital kiosk photo maker for you. Have your workout supplements. They are a Tiffin's preferred provider at Belmont Pharmacy. Call them at 454-9902. Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro. Also bringing you tonight's game. A.C. Walker unofficially with 18. Cassie Grimes with 14. Mary Grace Stormit with 19. Walker down to Grimes. Grimes back to Walker. Walker working it right side. Pulls it back out. Now at the top of the key, she'll go right side again. Walker lobs it to Kirkendall. It's no good under there. Rebound will go to Amory. Pass to Parks. Parks in and out, no good. Rebound goes to Abby Kirkendall. Walker now with the basketball. Goes back to Kirkendall, working it right side, gets it to Lyles. Lydia makes the move to the right corner, comes back out. Kirkendall sets up, takes the three, and it's good. Fifth point of the ball game for Abby Kirkendall. Belmont with a 59-41 lead, 3.40 to go. Belmont got a hand on it. Kirkendall gets it, gives it to Walker. Now down to Stormit. Stormit drives into the lane, almost lost it, comes back out. Kirkendall sets up and takes the three. This one no good from the left side. Gets her own rebound, kicks it to the lane. It is good under there by Stormit. Mary Grace Stormont with her 21st point of the ball game. They'll go all back across the way to number five, Robinson. She'll pull up from the left side, won't go. And Abby Kirkendall with a rebound with 2.50 to go. 
Belmont with a 20 point lead, 61 41. Kirkendall working it right side. On the wing, she'll bring it back to the top of the key, drives it in, comes back over to Stormit. Stormit sets up and takes the three from the left side. No good. Who's going to get the rebound? Lyles comes out of there with it. Walker takes the three from the right side. Good. 21 points in the ball game for Macy Walker unofficially. 2.14 to go. Parks walked with the basketball. We've got another timeout on the floor with 2.10 to go. Belmont 64, Amory 41 in girls' action. Mad Express of Red Bay, nurse practitioner Wendy Orr and the staff. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Take care of all your medical needs. Mad Express of Red Bay. Call them at 3568907. Appointments are preferred. Walk-ins are welcome. They accept all major insurances at Mad Express of Red Bay. Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance agent, now writing insurance. Mississippi for his Red Bay office on Main Street. Call Ronald at 256-356-4459. For your home, auto, personal, whatever you may need in the insurance line, give Ronald Thorne a call, 356-4459. Mind you, get a copy of tonight's game available on DVD. You can contact Jack or Denise Ivey at 454-9797. Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff. For all your pharmacy needs, 356-9000. Two ten to go. Lyle's going to get it into Walker. Now back to Kirkendall. Gets it back to Lydia. She'll get it across the timeline. Lyle's double teamed. Now they'll get it to Coger. Back to Lyle's. Back to the top to Kirkendall. Over to Stormit. Now they'll get it to Lyle's. Now back to Kirkendall. Now back to Lyle's. Comes over to Coger. Kalia now back to Lyle's. Over to Kirkendall. Now they'll go to the corner to storm it. She'll take the three, good. Turnover by Amory. Kirkendall's got the basketball, 66-41 Belmont, a minute 30 to go. Lyle's going to take a three. It's good from the left wing for Lydia Lyle's. Right with the basketball, passes it down to 31. Her shot no good by Cox. Here comes Belmont, Lyles to Stormit. Stormit goes up with it. She's going to be fouled. With 106 to go in the ball game, Mary Grace Stormit will go to the free throw line for Belmont. Unofficially with 24 points in the ball game, her free throw up and good. <laughs> Hannah Brock checking into the ball game. Amory throws it away. Holt gets it to storm it. Well, 55 seconds. Belmont throws it away. Here comes Amory with the basketball. Lady Cardinal steal it right back, though. Sadie Holt. Now Amory steals it away. They're going to lay it up. No good. Back up with it after the rebound is good by Emma Wright. 70-43 Belmont with 23 seconds to go. Stormont drives it right down the lane. Tried to go inside with it. Amory come out of there with it. Smith We've got a whistle and a foul before the shot, I believe. Nope, they're going to say she was... Shooting when the foul occurred, so Amory will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Jatavia Smith 
Who's three out of three from the line? Anna Karen Marino checking in the game for Belmont. You got Sadie Hold out there on the floor, number five. Cheyenne Hughes, number 32. Hannah Bronk, also Kalia Cogart. Free throw good, so one more now coming up. For Jatavia Smith. That free throw is up and no good. It will go out of bounds. And we have got 10 seconds left now on the clock. Amory will throw it in. Lady Cardinals touched it last. There's the layup good by Sims. It'll go out of bounds with .2 seconds on the clock. Amory throws it in, and final score, Belmont Lady Cardinals 70, Amory Lady Panthers 46, and girls action. Stay tuned, we've got the Varsity Boys coming up. This is Belmont Cardinal Basketball on Dolly RMG TV 12 and TV 97. Starting lineups for boys action coming up. Belmont Cardinals and the Amory Panthers. Milligan Ready Mix. Don't forget to have your stepping stones. They have the military, Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee stones. Gutter splash blocks. See them for your landscaping rock and mulch. Curb stops and pet monuments. Call them at 423-6238 at Milligan Ready Mix. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative. And now our starting lineups for the Belmont Cardinals and the Amory Panthers. I can have your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to announce the starting lineup for tonight's final contest. This is boys' action. We'll feature the Amory Panthers against the Belmont Cardinals. First, the starting lineup for the Amory Panthers, coached by Brian Pearson. Number three, Jamerson Martin. James Pratt. Number 15, Drew Keaton. Number 20, Isaiah Thompson. And number 23, Trishon Hedley. Colin Williams, Avery Kirkendall, Garrett Rooker, Karsten Bryan, and Grayson Stone. You're starting five for Belmont. It'll be Jamerson Martin, James Brandt, Drew Keaton, Isaiah Thompson, and Treshawn Hadley. That'll be your starting five for the Amory Panthers. It'll be Isaiah Thompson jumping it against Karsten Bryan for the Cardinals. And we're about ready for boys action. Official steps in. Ball goes in the air and Amory will control the tip. Martin with the basketball goes over to 23. That's Hadley. Now they'll work it back to Hadley. Goes over to 15. That's Keaton. Now tried to pass it. That one goes back to the right side to number 20. His shot no good, but Thompson 
Hadley gets the rebound. Driving the left baseline, pull up shot is no good by Jamerson Martin Hatley. Now Amory got that rebound. They'll kick it number three. Now go to the right side to number 10. That's Spratt. Comes back over to Hadley. We got a whistle under there. And a foul. Count the basket. For Isaiah Thompson, he'll have a free throw coming for the Panthers. His free throw up, and it is no good. Avery Kirkendall with the basketball now for Belmont. Avery across the timeline. Working it on the right side, comes to the top of the key, now goes back right, hands it to Williams. Collin with the basketball, goes to Rooker. Garrett comes back to Kirkendall, now to Williams in the right corner, comes back. Stone, Grayson over to Kirkendall to Rooker. Rooker gets Karsten Bryan. Bryan now to Williams. Williams back to Rooker on the left wing. Now to Williams, top of the key. Williams makes a move, kicks it to Grayson Stone on the right wing. Now back to Kirkendall, top of the key. Kirkendall drives in the lane, kicks it over. Now from the left side, the shot is no good but Karsten Bryan. And Amory got the rebound. Here comes the Panthers. Shot from the left side all the way, but Keaton no good. And a rebound will go to Grayson Stone. Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, Dustin, Dick. Try the best to meet all your high reach needs. The trim or remove trees, debris removal, stump grinding, clean steeples, all done in professional manner. Triple D's, 279-7500. In the lane, Garrett Rooker no good. Amory gets the rebound. Here comes the Panthers. Pull up. And pass it inside to number 20, Thompson, with his fourth point of the ball game. Amory leads it four to nothing. 5.43 to go with the opening period. Grayson Stone comes to Williams. Collin, Karsten Bryan driving the right baseline. Missed it under there, and a rebound went to Garrett Rooker. Comes back, Kirkendall with a three. Good. Avery with that three from the left wing. It's a 4-3 lead for Amory. Your hometown pizza in Belmont. Have a great salad bar located 7 Yarbor Street, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Use the convenient drive through You can dine in or carry out, 454-0202. There's a three from the left side, but Drew Keaton gives Amory a 7-3 lead. Carsten Bryan now with the basketball for Belmont. Gives it to Colin Williams. Williams working it right side against Martin. Now Garrett Rooker with the basketball. Goes over to Stone in the left corner. Grayson kicks it to Williams. Colin Williams over to Rooker on the left wing. Now to Avery Kirkendall in the lane. No good. The rebound will go to James Spratt. Here comes the Panthers now with the basketball. Here's a three from the right side. No good by Martin. Rebound put back up and in, though, by Drew Keaton for his fifth point of the ball game for the Panthers. Amory up now 9-3. to three. Colin Williams to Karsten Bryan. Takes the three from the right corner. No good. Rebound will go to Spratt, and here comes Amory again. Panthers in the lane. No good. It'll go out of bounds to Belmont. Last touched by Jamerson Martin. Amory leading at 9 to 3. First period action, 3.46 to go. Piggly Wiggly of Belmont IU and Red Bay bring you the game. Don't forget inside Piggly Wiggly Belmont, you'll find the Belmont Ace Hardware. Avery Kirkendall kicks it back out. Karsten Bryan with a three from the top, no good. And the rebound goes to Keaton of Amory. Keaton drives it to the left corner, comes back out. They'll go right side to Hadley. Now, Amory will work it around. Pull up from the left side, no good by Drew Keaton. Belmont with a rebound. Mm -hmm. 
Avery Kirkendall to Stone. Grayson on the left wing. Gives it to Rooker. Garrett makes a little move. Comes back out to Stone. Avery Kirkendall top of the key. Comes back to Garrett Rooker on the left wing. Now gets it to Grayson Stone. Back to Rooker. Avery Kirkendall now with the basketball over to Stone. Grayson back to Kirkendall. Gets it to Stone. Now back to Karsten Bryan over to Williams. Now go inside, turn around. No good for Grayson Stone. And Spratt got the rebound. Spratt driving it, puts it up. No good, Belmont commits the foul. Red Bay Hospital, Administrator Vice President Sherry Jolly. Don't forget their well care center at Red Bay Hospital. Call them at 356-1160. First foul of the ball game for Avery Kirkendall, second of the half against Belmont. James Spratt at the free throw line. His free throw up and good. Isaiah Thompson checking out of the game. Looks like Jermaine McIntosh will check in for Amory. Free throw is up and it is no good. So Spratt hit one of two on those. Garrett Rooker back to Stone over to Kirkendall. Now back to Stone. Grayson gets it to Brian. Karsten kicks it back out. They'll push it at the corner. Garrett Rooker makes the move. Has it rejected under there, but we got a whistle and a foul. So Garrett Rooker will go to the free throw line for the Cardinals. First foul of the ball game for Gray Thornton of Amory. That free throw good. Garrett Rooker, one more for Garrett. It's a 10 to four. Amory Lee, that free throw good. Make it 10 to five now. H&R Block, Iuka, Red Band, Fulton, your tax professionals making their game possible here this evening. Also, Sunshine Mills making the great dog, cat, food, and treats. Here's a three from the left side, good. Drew Keaton with his second three. You can't leave him wide open like that. That's his second one. Pass down to Rooker. He tried to get it to Karsten Bryan. They was waiting on that pass. Another three by Keaton. That's his third. 16 to five now. Amory with a minute 17 left in the opening period. And Belmont throws it away. Martin goes up with it off the glass. No good. It's gonna be knocked back in right to Keaton. And Belmont's going to call a timeout. A minute two left in the opening period. Amory's out to an 18 to five lead. Sunshine Mills, makers that great dog, cat, food, and treats. Also Grace Long Real Estate of Iuka. Call them at 423-5555. Piggly Wiggly of Belmont, Iuka, and Red Bay. Forget Belmont Ace Hardware, located inside Piggly Wiggly of uh, Belmont. Cardinals will throw it in. River forward into the ball game for Belmont. Kirkendall back to Ford. River back over to Avery Kirkendall. Garrett Rooker in the left corner. Now back to Kirkendall over to Ford. To Colin Williams. Comes back across. Now Garrett Rooker drives the lane, kicks it back out. Avery Kirkendall. Now to Garrett Rooker. 37 seconds. 
Colin Williams tries the three from the right side, and here comes Amory. Here's a three. No good by Thornton. Belmont gets the rebound. Well, 14 seconds. River Ford back over to Kirkendall. Back to Ford. Five seconds. Karsten Bryan to Kirkendall over to River Ford. River Ford with a long three. No good at the buzzer. And at the end of one, it's Amory 18 and Belmont 5. This is Training Company bringing you tonight's game. Don't forget they got that second location for you, Highway 72, just past the Tishomingo County High School. You can check out those Goaty tractors and Skag mowers. Call Sid Whitehurst at 424-0025 at Sid's Trading Company in Iuka. Modern Woodman offers financial services and fraternal member benefits to individuals and families serving your community. Call Ronnie Cook at 662-423-8477 to start that conversation. Ronnie Cook and Modern Woodman bring you tonight's game. Big Star Belmont. Great customer service. Sammy Hale and the staff, they appreciate your business. Open seven days a week at Big Star Belmont. Wishing the Cardinals good luck here tonight. River Ford into Avery Kirkendall and the second period underway. Ford back to Kirkendall. Comes over to Williams, back to Kirkendall. River Ford looking inside, nothing there. Avery Kirkendall backs it back out. Now to Karsten Bryant, over to Ford, to Garrett Rooker. Rooker back to Ford. Now back to Bryan over to Kirkendall. Now back to River Ford. Now they'll come back. Abe Kirkendall will take the three, no good. And the rebound goes to Martin. Here comes Amory on the other end. Lobs it up, good. In the lane, a little floater by Thornton. Amory out to a 15 point lead here with 7-11 to go. In the second period, they lead it 20 to five. And now Karsten Bryan backs it back out to River Ford. Cardinal's gonna reset it. Now he gets it to Karsten Bryan, to Williams, back to River Ford. He'll drive it in the lane, put it up, and got the roll in for the Cardinals, and Amory will commit the foul. So a free throw now for River Ford. Free throw is up, and it is no good. Amory gets the rebound. And Amory turns it over. Karsten Bryan drives it, puts it up. Good. So 20 to nine lead now for Amory. Spark CPA firm, six locations to serve you. Red Bay, Iuka Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. Payroll processing, trucker fuel reports, permits, and IFTAs, audit review and compilation services. Retirement planning, tax planning, and consulting at the Sparks CPA firm. Hadley with the basketball, working it against Garrett Rooker on the right wing, comes back to the top to Thornton. Now they'll go inside with it, dishes it off, going to get it to McKinney, and Belmont was waiting on that one. Avery Kirkendall with the basketball over to River Ford. Now to Rooker, back to Ford. Back to Kirkendall, over to River Ford. Thornton got a hand on it, but it went right back to Ford. Kirkendall goes right side to Williams. Now they'll get it to Karsten Bryan. He'll back it back out. Take the three from the right corner. It won't go, and the rebound goes to Thornton. The Amory Panthers pass down to Martin, Martin, to McKinney, McKinney back to Martin. 
On the left wing, brings it to the top of the key. Now to McKinney. McKinney. Comes back to Thornton. Moves now to Martin. Martin pull up from the left side. No good. It'll go out of bounds. It'll go to the Cardinals. Williams Pest Control and Insulation for all your pest control and insulation needs. Serving North Alabama, North Mississippi. Give Jeff Green a call at 662-454-3383. Williams Pest Control and Insulation. Avery Kirkendall sets up for a three from the right side. That's good. His second three of the ball game. 20 to 12 now, Amory. Hadley comes over to number 20. That's Thompson. Goes to the corner. Now back to Thompson. A little spin move and missed it. And the rebound goes to the Cardinals' Karsten Bryant. Avery Kirkendall now with the basketball. Gets it to River Ford. And they throw it away right to number 20. That's Thompson. He'll lay it up for his sixth point of the ball game. Kirkendall now with the basketball for the Cardinals. 3.50 to go before half. It's 22 to 12, Amory. Cruz, Nito Hell lays it up, no good, and a foul committed by Amory. Free throw on the way and good. Next one all the way, good as well. 22-14, Amory now. Overdrive Auto Sports, Gavin Cromain, specializing in lift kits, wheels, tires, and accessories. Now your automotive customization shop, 721 Highway 25 in Dennis, open 830 to 5. Call Gavin for appointment at 662-660-4505 at Overdrive Auto Sports with Gavin Cromain. Martin goes right side. Pull up shot from the free throw line, no good. And here comes Belmont now, Avery Kirkendall, Karsten Bryan. Now back to Hale, over to Kirkendall, over to Rooker on the left side. Top of the key now to Kirkendall. Now back to Rooker, Garrett, back to Kirkendall. 2.45 to go, Hale with the basketball. Drives to the basket, puts it up. It is no good. Amory with a rebound. Two twenty four to go before half. Twenty two fourteen lead for Amory. And tried to go inside with it. Belmont comes away with it. Hale over to Kirkendall, pushes it to River Ford. River now back to Kirkendall. Two minutes. Hale now with the basketball. Comes back to Karsten Bryan. Now to Kirkendall. And almost a steal. And now we got a little pushing going on between Kirkendall and Martin. One of them's going to get charged with a foul. They're going to get Jamerson Martin. Or correction, they're going to get Kirkendall with his second foul. So 
Well, Martin with the basketball for Amory. Goes right side with it. Turn around is up and no good by Thompson. Belmont will get the rebound. Carson Bryan with the ball, a minute 12, hands it to Avery Kirkendall. Now to Rooker, Garrett, pull up from the left side. Thrown back in by River Ford, but it goes to Amory. Here comes the Panthers, long pass down. Rooker got a hand on it, Amory gets it back. Now driving it in the lane. And the layup good by Spratt. Thirty-eight seconds to go now. Amory up by 10, 24-14. Hale with the basketball, hands it to Karsten Bryan. Bryan now to Kirkendall, 22 seconds. Down to 15 seconds, Rooker with the ball. Now to Kirkendall. Down to eight seconds. Avery Kirkendall. And now we've got a whistle and a foul on Amory. They're going to get Jamerson Martin. With that foul. His second of the ball game. Well, four seconds. Hale gets it into Kirkendall. Back to Hale. He'll put it up. No good. Amory gets the rebound. That's all the first half. At the end of two, it's the Amory Panthers 24 and the Belmont Cardinals 14. This is WRMG TV 12 and Television 97. Third period action about ready to get underway as the Amory Panthers lead it 24 to 14 over the Cardinals. Belmont Restaurant, Wallace and Glenda Williams, local folks serving homemade meals. At the Belmont Restaurant downtown on the square. Don't forget Tuesday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. buffet. Friday and Saturday night, 4 to 9 p.m. You can order off from the menu. Sunday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sunday buffet at the Belmont Restaurant. Call them at Belmont Mayor Buddy Wilshire, Alderman Craig Bell, Mike Harris, Sonia Harris, Brandon Farr, and Steve Ratliff making our game possible here this evening. And the third period underway is the Cardinals inbound to Karsten Bryan. Now over to Colin Williams. Williams. It's Davery Kirkendall on the right wing. Now gets it to Karsten Bryan. Bryan up with it, good. Karsten with his fourth point of the ball game. Stones Jewelry bring you tonight's game. Family owned and operated for 41 years. Ripley and Tupelo, their specialty is engagement rings and making the customer happy. When you think of jewelry, think of the stones, Joanne and Teresa. Also, Josh McNatt wants to thank everyone for the support you gave him in the election. He's your new circuit court clerk of Tishomingo County and wishes all the Tishomingo County teams well. Amory just working the ball around. Now they'll drive it right down the lane. Missed the dunk. Number 20, Thompson went for the slam and missed it. Rooker with the basketball for Belmont now. Comes right side to River Ford. They'll go to Williams in the corner, back to Ford. River to Kirkendall, Avery. To Garrett Rooker. Rooker gets it to Karsten Bryan. A little spin move by Karsten. Good.
Conda Storage, the only climate control storage in the area. Haskell's Parks, Belmont, and Tisha Mango. You can call them at 423-876-780. Conda Storage. Going inside with it. We got a whistle and a foul on River Ford under there. Isaiah Thompson will go to the free throw line now for the Panthers of Amory. First foul of the ball game for River Ford. And the free throw is up and it is good. Thompson now with seven in the game, looking to make it eight with this free throw. Free throw is up and it is no good. Karsten Bryan pulls down the rebound for the Cardinals. Avery Kirkendall gets it to River Ford across the timeline, back over to Kirkendall, back to Ford. River, back to Kirkendall, back to Ford. Top of the key, right side to Kirkendall. Now back to River Ford. Now to Garrett Rooker. He'll take the three in and out, no good. Karsten Bryan had the rebound, but he stepped out of bounds. It'll go over to Amory. Northeast Mississippi Community College. Don't forget their Student Success Center, Honors College, and Workforce Training with commitment to excellence in athletics. Four-day instructional week featuring online short-term and hybrid classes at Northeast. Call them toll-free, 800-555-2154. Amory misses it under there. Here comes Avery Kirkendall. Kirkendall goes all the way, lays it up good. Eighth point of the ball game for Avery. Cardinals pull within five now. 4.53 to go here in the third. Hadley. Hadley drives it in the lane, kicks it back out. Now they'll come back to the top. There's a three, no good by Thompson. We got a whistle as it goes out of bounds. And they're going to say last touch by the Cardinals. Drew Keaton's going to throw it in. Amory up by five. And the basketball. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent, helping you with what we do best in Belmont. Your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, tax deferred annuities. Call Mike Harris at 454 9624. Hadley at the top of the key. Going inside with it. We're going to have a foul on Karsten Bryan. And Amory will throw it in out of the basket as Drew Keaton will do the inbound. Into Martin. Martin now to 23. That's Hadley. Now they'll come over to number 10, Spratt. Back to Hadley. Hadley drives in, little pass under there, and it is up and good by Thompson. Amory back out by seven now. River Ford over to Kirkendall, Avery to Williams in the right corner, comes all the way back over to, and good job of River Ford trying to throw it back in, but couldn't get there in time before it went out of bounds, so it'll go over to Amory now. Karsten Bryan's going to check out of the game. For the Cardinals. Alec Hogan into the ball game for the Cardinals. Pull up from the right side, in and out, no good, but Drew Keaton. River forward with a basketball. Gets it to Colin Williams. Now back to River Ford. Comes back out. Williams, top of the key. 27-20. Amory with 254 left here in the third. So River forward with a basketball. Driving it in the lane. Goes up with it. We've got a whistle under there and a foul against Amory.
Gray Thornton picking up his second foul of the ball game. Free throw up and good by River Ford. Four Street Grill Steakhouse, Lauren Brent Column. Good food every day at reasonable prices at the Four Street Grill. Call them at 356 2226. See them for your catering needs as well. One more free throw now for River Ford. It's good as well. Martin looking inside, going to the basket. It is no good. They're going to have a walk. And Alec Hogan after the rebound, so it'll go back to Amory now. We got a timeout. Coach Brian Pearson of the Panthers calls the timeout with 2.26 left here in the third period. Your score are the Amory Panthers 27, the Belmont Cardinals 22. Just tuning in, your Belmont Lady Cardinals win it tonight 70 to 46. Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector, making her game possible tonight. Daniel Mann at Mann Oil Change at the railroad crossing in Golden. Do your oil changes, tire rotation, fix flats, do minor repairs, 454-3557. David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County tax assessor. Thanks you for supporting the election. Wishes all the Tishomingo County teams good luck. So Amory will inbound to Thornton. Thornton goes left side to number 10. A Spratt, he'll lay it up good. Back up by seven. Garrett Rooker drives in. Gets to Hogan. Alec now to River Ford. Top of the key. River Ford drives in. Has it blocked under there. Spratt with the ball now for the Panthers. Passes it down. To number three. That's Martin. He'll put it up in the lane. It's good. And Belmont's going to commit the foul. Jamerson Martin will have a free throw now for Amory. Panthers up 31 to 22. River Ford will check out of the game. Karsten Bryan checking back in for the Cardinals. Free throw up and it is good by Martin. It's now a 10 point lead for the Panthers. Hogan. Trying to pass it inside, throws it away, and Amory now with a basketball. Thompson over to Martin. Martin almost lost it. Kirkendall got the steal, now throws it away. It's going to go out of bounds. It'll stay with Amory. Alec Hogan to check out of the game. Hale will check in. Avery Kirkendall checking out of the game. Go up with it, no good. Amory got the rebound, they'll go back up again, no good. And the tip in is good though, but number 20, that's gonna be Isaiah Thompson. Garrett Rooker now back to Hale. Hale goes over to Karsten Bryan. Bryan back to Hale. Now to Rooker. Now back to Hale. Gets it to Karsten Bryan. Kicks it over to Colin Williams. They'll come back to Hale. Comes over to Rooker in the corner. They'll work it around. Hale to Rooker to Stone. Left corner. Stone gets it to Colin Williams. Now 
They'll get it to Karsten Bryan. Comes back to Rooker to hell to the key, 44 seconds. Karsten Bryan to Hale, 34 seconds. Hale loses it, gets it back now to Rooker. Gets it to Karsten Bryan. Kicks it to Colin Williams. Williams with 25 seconds gets it to Garrett Rooker. Now to Car uh, Stone with the ball. Now back to Hale, top of the key. Comes over to Williams, right side. Now back to Hale, top of the key. 12 seconds. Now, they'll get it to Colin Williams, seven seconds. Cardinals got to get a shot off here. Hale puts a floater in the lane, it's good. And that's gonna be all of the third period. At the end of three, it's Amory 34, Belmont 24. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply Safety Apparel, high visibility vests, t-shirt safety glasses, earplugs made and sold in Belmont. Custom signs, decals, and banners. They've been a minute over 40 years. Call them toll free at 800-647-8168 or stop by and let them what, know what you need at MTS. David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County tax assessor, bringing you tonight's game. Also. Explore Liquidations Giant Auction coming up in Fulton, Mississippi, January the 25th at 706 South Adams Street. Across from the Center Funeral Home, you'll find furniture, tools, mattresses, luggage, and household items. Now, the auction is going to get underway at 5 p.m. You can view those items to be auctioned at 3.30 p.m. They'll have concessions available for you. Get ready for the next auction on January the 25th. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County, making her game possible here this evening. Final eight minutes ready to go. It's underway. Amory with a basketball. That's Martin. Gets it over to Keaton. Now to Martin. Martin working it right side. He'll dribble in the lane. Come back over. Now we get it back to Martin over to number four. That's Thornton. Now back to Martin. Over to Keaton. Keaton in the corner. Finds 32, he'll kick it back out to Martin. Now back over to Keaton, he'll take the shot, no good. Rebound, put back up and in though by Greg Thornton. His fourth point of the ball game. Hale trying to pass it inside, knocked out of bounds by Amory. Cardinals inbound to Karsten Bryan. Over to Garrett Rooker, back to Kirkendall, back to Rooker. Back to Kirkendall, top of the key. They'll go right side to hell, back to Kirkendall, to Rooker, to Kirkendall, to hell. Cardinals just working it around. Down 36-24, 6.48 to go. Allen Harden Heating and Cooling, they've been about us 45 years. You factor authorized your heating cooling dealer for three generations. Call them at 356-8913. Garrett Rooker back to Kirkendall. He'll take the long three. It's good. Avery Kirkendall's third three of the game. He's got 11 for the Cardinals. It's now 36-27. Martin with the basketball, loses it. Now he'll get it to number 15, that's Keaton. Now pass over to number four, Thornton. They tried to go inside with it and threw it away. Cardinals got the basketball. Gatlin's Pharmacy, Pharmacist Stanley Page, your Health Mart Pharmacy in downtown Chishamingo. 
Well, buy and see them. Let's see if they can save you some money on your prescriptions. Call them at 438 6605. Stone over to Kirkendall. He'll take the three. No good. A rebound will go to Keaton. Here comes Amory now. We're in the fourth period. 36-27 Amory. Here's Martin from the free throw line. No good. Rooker got the rebound. Lost it. He'll come out of there with it, though. Good job by Garrett. Kirkendall down to Hale. He'll cross the timeline. Cruz goes to the corner with it to Stone. Grayson now back to Garrett Rooker. To Avery Kirkendall. Bryan back to Stone to Rooker. They'll get it to Karsten Bryan. Has his shot rejected. Here comes Amory. Martin goes in. Going to be fouled by Garrett Rooker. Coach Brian Pearson calls the timeout, so play resumes. Amory will be at the free throw line, 440 to go in the ball game, 36-27. Panthers with the lead. D&D &D equipment, rentals of Iuka, small construction equipment, and a wide variety of hand tools. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, located at 493 County Real 169 in Iuka. You can call them at 423-8283. Daniel Sparks, proud to be your state senator in District 5. Thanks for the confidence you have shown in him. Go Cardinals from Daniel Sparks, a proud sponsor of your local teams. Red Mud Heating Cooling, Patrick Brooks. Free estimates on new installation. They are a state certified licensed, bonded, and insured residential and commercial installation service and repairs. Call them at 662-279-6569. The Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. I'd like to remind you they're a member of TVAZ program. They offer rebates on hot water heaters from gas to electric and electric to electric. Call them during normal business hours at 423-3646. Red Bud Supply, Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne. Also your Tishomingo County Corner, Mac Wildman, bringing you tonight's game. Free throw by Jamerson Martin, no good. One more free throw now from Martin. It's on the way. This one is good. Amory up by 10. We got 435 to go in the ball game. Kirkendall working against Martin gets it to Stone top of the key. Kirkendall now with it. Goes to Williams, Collin, Grayson Stone. Now to Garrett Rooker, over to Williams. Goes to Grayson Stone. Colin Williams now with it. Garrett Rooker gives it to Williams. Missed the layup. It'll be knocked out of bounds, but Garrett Rooker, it'll go to Amory. Amory with a 10-point lead in the basketball. Martin at the top of the key. Comes over to Keaton. Now finds number 20, Thompson. He'll take it. Shot no good. Rebound, Avery Kirkendall. Williams over to Rooker. Back to Williams. Colin looking at Karsten Bryan. They get it to Rooker. Now back to Williams. Hands it to Avery Kirkendall. Hands it to Garrett Rooker. Back to Kirkendall. Community Spirit Bank in Belmont for all your banking needs. Mike Montgomery, the staff, also your Deaton Funeral Homes Belmont and Red Bay. Now their fourth generation of service. Serving the area since 1945. Kirkendall shot good. And we've got a timeout on the floor by the Cardinals. So with 3.03 to go in the ball game, it's Amory 37, Belmont 29.
Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chantry clerk, bring you tonight's game. Also, Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Missing Dustin Brandon, 305 Second Street. If you're planning a wedding in the future, go by and see them. They make your wedding dreams come true at any budget. They have one-of-a-kind jewelry, silk and live flowers, and unique gifts for all occasions. Check them out on Facebook as well, 454-1033. Panthers will throw it in. Thornton into Martin. 37-29 Amory. Three minutes to go in the ballgame. Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro bringing you tonight's game. Now trying to get it inside. They're going to say Cardinals touched it out of bounds because John Harrison. Talking to the official. Amory gets it in. Here's a shot from the corner. Good, a three-point basket by Thompson. Colin Williams with the basketball. Three by Colin, no good. Amory gets the rebound. And we've got a whistle and a foul against... Grayson Stone of the Cardinals. Two minutes to go in the game. Amory up 40 to 29. Martin with the basketball. Over to number 20. That's Thompson. Now gets it to Keaton. Keaton backs it out. Now right down the lane, there's the layup good. Belmont commits the foul. Count the basket for Malik White. And he'll have a free throw coming. Coach John Harrison still talking to the official over that other call. So White at the free throw line. His free throw up and good. Avery Kirkendall with the basketball. And we're going to have a reach-in foul against Amory. Now we've got a whistle and a walk on Avery Kirkendall. And Coach John Harrison has drawn a technical foul. So Amory will go down to the other end to shoot free throws. They'll send Drew Keaton to the free throw line. Free throw is up and good by Keaton. Next free throw on the way by Keaton, no good. Belmont Pharmacy, pharmacist Bill Donald Weatherford, Moore, Kathy Kellum, your Tiffin's preferred provider, bring you tonight's game, Med Express Red Bay. Nurse practitioner Wendy Owen, the staff making her game possible. 
performance are preferred. Walk-ins are welcome at Med Express Red Bay. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, to take care of all your medical needs. McKinney with the basketball, down to 105 to go. Everybody gets it out to number 10. That's Spratt, drives it down. He double dribbled the basketball. So a turnover for Amory. Kobe Collins checking in the game. Alec Hogan will come in for Belmont. Hogan with the basketball down to 54 seconds. Rooker drives in, comes over to Collins, back to Rooker. Rooker pull up to Collins. He sets up, takes the three. It is no good. Fight for it on the floor, and here comes Amory now with it with 38 seconds to go. Red Mod Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff in Red Bay located on the Golden Road, making her game possible. Belmont Lady Cardinals win it 70 to 46 tonight. McKinney walks with a basketball. So Belmont to get it back with 21 seconds to go. Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance agent. Riding insurance in Mississippi from his Red Bay office on Main Street for your home, auto, personal, whatever your, your need may be. Give Ronald Thorne a call 356-4459. Colin Williams. Hands it to Garrett Rooker. Rooker goes to the corner. Alec Hogan to Grayson Stone. Stone back to Hogan. Five seconds. Kicks it back out. Colin Williams with a long three. No good. Alec Hogan puts it up at the buzzer. It's no good. And your final score, 44-29. 44-29. The Amory Panthers over the Belmont Cardinals. Your Lady Cardinals win it 70-46 over Amru. Appreciate all of our sponsors who made our broadcast possible here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Until next time, I'm Steve Bates for Josh Mitchell. Good evening to you and God bless you.